Hi everybody, my name is Timothy and I greet you all in Jesus Christ mighty name. If you get something out of this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. I wanted to go ahead and talk a little bit about plane spotting or aircraft spotting as a blind individual because I recognize that aircraft spotting and or plane spotting it is literally the same exact thing. I did a little bit of research into plane spotters, and they're literally aircraft spotters. They spot all kinds of different aircraft, but primarily airplanes, because airplanes are what primarily flies in the sky. So, rather you call yourself a plane spotter or an aircraft spotter, you are one and the same. But I wanted to cover this from the perspective of a blind person, because every plane spotter or aircraft spotter that i'm aware of can see okay it very well may be now i'm not saying that this is the case but it very well may be that i am the only blind plane slash aircraft spotter that is out there i doubt it but it is a possibility so I use my iPhone to record the audio of the aircraft. Since I can't see, there's no point in recording or trying to record, in any case, video and or taking and or trying to take pictures of aircraft that are flying high in the sky. Especially since I'm living in between airports. So... A lot of folks will tell you, get cameras, get good lenses, and I take absolutely nothing away from that if that is something that you do, and that is something that helps you to, uh, you know, take your pictures and get your videos, well, may God bless your efforts. Uh, but for me, as somebody who is totally blind, that doesn't make sense. And so what I do is I only care about the audio. So I record the audio using my iPhone microphone. Now, for the knowing of what aircraft is what, I use an app called FlightAware. Now, I do have FlightRadar24, and I do have PlaneFinder. But when it comes to accessibility, FlightAware is the best, hands down. So in short, all I'm doing is recording audio on my phone, tracking the aircraft via FlightAware, and then for the communication side of things, because I love to hear what is going on uh, with the pilots around me as well, I utilize something called the Rexon RHP530. Now the Rexon RHP530 is a little handheld transceiver that means it can both transmit and receive so with all that in mind i wanted to show you all my gear in action and you'll hear it on this cessna enjoy i believe there's an aircraft coming here yep i hear it Okay, and let us go ahead and get the information on that aircraft that just flew over. N3462 Cessna 177. Specifically, that is a 1973 Cessna 
177B, owned by a gentleman out of Missouri. It was a little Cessna Cardinal there, uh, and looks like it may have come from, uh, at least this looks like as to where it may have uh, originated from there when we tracked it there, uh, was that it came from Indiana County uh, Airport, so that would have been K- uh, K- KIDI, um, Jimmy Stewart. And it came over our location at about 7 o'clock in the evening here on this beautiful Friday evening. And that'll wrap up our time aircraft spotting. If you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.